We are really the culprits of everything that we see around us. We have to have a future where designers are chosen for great work that includes a concept where you're thinking about how things are used or you're thinking about what happens to them at the end of their life. I was on the train one morning to Waterloo and I noticed three guys holding identical coffee cups. And they had clearly bought it from the same coffee place and gotten onto the train. And it was interesting because they were, you know, they were enjoying it. At the end, we all got off at the same stop and they all threw their coffee cups in the same bin. And what I realized were three key things. A, they bought from the same location. B, they had the same product. C, they threw it in the same end location. In designing something premium, why not put something that's even better? Why, why make it single use? And could I give them a better product to hold? And instead of them throwing it into a bin, I can bring that product back into some form of reuse. Are there stories from uni days? Do you have to tell you about this Gosh, um, I don't think anything I can say here <laughs> in this setting. Clap, clap, clap. Interestingly, my, my career or my journey started off as, as aspiring to be an architect. The excitement was around building tangible things, things that people could use and experience. I think that's always been my approach to everything in terms of how I look at the world, how I, how I problem solve, is to think about how to create well-being at scale. We were in Copenhagen at the time and said that she had this idea to propose a new kind of packaging. It made complete sense because it works. The design was really a constant balancing act. It had to be good enough that people would want to use it and would be happy to be seen using it. But you didn't want it so good that people would then not return it. The return rate is critical to the success of the project. So we had to hit that balance. My first impression of Safi is you know, she's just on it. She's with it from the get-go. It's kind of, here's what I'm trying to do. You can help us do this while, you know, making your business better, your impact on the earth better. Committed is, is the word I would use to describe her. I will go into a restaurant or cafe with my own reusable Club Zero packaging and then ask them to put it in there. In 2015, consumers were not aware of the global plastics issue. Your average consumer believed that everything they threw away was magically sorted. <laughs> and that concept of sorted, they realized in 2017 with the likes of David Attenborough and Blue Planet, there was no such thing as sorted. Can you give me a cup? Cup? I have no cup. Oh, cup. Oh, sorry. <laughs> give me a cup. <laughs> Can I order a latte to go, please? I've bought my coffee. I've got one cup and one lid on my items borrowed. I can either do of two things. I can return it to the nearest drop point or I can arrange pick up from her. So this goes back into the case. When I'm finished, I'll drop off my cup and lid and separate them um, and then walk away. That's it. This is convenient for consumers and that they understand that this is at scale. That's really important. This is something that we are developing to have everywhere in a city. Offices and corporate entities around London will place a bulk order with us. When they order, they request that they want to use reusable or sustainable packaging with their order. Pack it up, send it out that way. It then gets collected, goes off to their uh, sanitation facility and then comes back to us. It's clear that they have a goal to improve the amount of packaging going to waste and to do it at scale. What is convenience and what is the cost of that addiction we have to convenience? So the notion that you're going to use a cup once to drink you know, a coffee that big and then chuck it in the bin doesn't make sense. How do we evolve into a circular economy is multiple things. We need to have more communications from government, councils to explain to a consumer what to do. It's about creating more adoption. That's where the scale part is missing, making sure that this is everywhere in the city. Okay.